What's the word, everybody? Chelsea Denova here, and we're gonna talk about the differences between digressive and linear shocks. So a digressive shock is gonna give you more adjustment of low speed movement, um, while the linear shock gives you a pretty good adjustment of the entire span. Okay, so starting off with a linear shock, uh, basically as you adjust this, no matter where it's at in its range of adjustment, obviously stiffer makes the shock move slower, um, softer makes the shock able to move faster. Basically throughout that, as the shock compresses at whatever speed you decide to compress it at, or the road does, or what's underneath you does, um, this will always be giving more force the faster it compresses. And then with digressive, it's a little bit different. So instead of always giving more force as it compresses, this one is basically gonna give you a lot of control and force in the first low speed action. So think about driving on the road and going over humps, not bumps. This will be a bit stiffer. Also something, uh, another characteristic of this would be during turn in and braking, it will have more damping control. And that's gonna basically give you a quicker feedback and not necessarily better, but just quicker. Um, I always prefer to set my cars up linear because for me, it's much easier to work with. I can use sway bars and spring rates and geometry to adjust everything, and I know I'm always gonna get a very flat curve of adjustment, but some people really like digressive because it can suck up some of the bumps a little bit better and give you a little more feedback on slow moving actions like braking, turning, and applying throttle. I think that this has a little easier understanding to control suspension movement, and this is a little bit more advanced, but on the softer settings, this can still ride very, very good everywhere you need to be. A common misunderstanding with digressive is that once you get a certain speed of movement, it, the shock bleeds and disappears. It doesn't actually do that. It basically hits some sort of a plateau where this one will always keep climbing, the digressive basically has a small climb as you give it more force, but this will ultimately probably have more control at a very high speed than this will, um, but this has more instant control. Chelsea, the 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 Ch